little bit about that if you missed it. But the point is the community has been doing great. Our viewers have been doing amazingly well to help out. So many other people had donating thousands of toys and a lot of money. The problem is the need is so great still. A lot of people signed up to help food, toys for the holidays. Some 20,000 children are on the list this year in need. Metro Ministries has enough toys to get through Thursday, but they expect now families to keep coming to their tent for help all the way up to Christmas Eve. They need about 4,000 more toys for all age groups or about $100,000. And here's an idea here. Gift cards to Walmart and toy stores, they make a great donation. Listen. We have staff that actually go out shopping and they, we know what we need. We keep a very close eye on our inventory compared to who we know is coming, what age groups. And then they will go out and they will take those gift cards and shop for the exact items we need so that there's no waste. Yeah, now Metro Ministries will be giving out toys every day to needy families from now until Christmas Eve. And a lot of local folks are doing their part to help here too. Look at this. College hunks hauling junk, but they sold pies that people could throw in their co-workers' faces. Watch this, this is great. And then they took a little bit of money in and they'd wait for the money shot. Here you go. Oh yeah, tell me you haven't <laughs> wanted to do that. They all donated the money that they made to Metro Ministries. This was the first time they ever did this and it was a huge hit with their employees. Not only is it for the local families here, but it's also, it helps the whole community. And um, that's all. It's all we want to be as part of the community and help them out as much as we can. Yeah, they hope to raise a thousand dollars a day, thousand dollars today, and then the company will match what they get. So well done, everybody at College Hunks. And you, you can actually still get out to Metro Ministries, the big tent in downtown Tampa, if you want to donate online. If you can't get out there, go to fox13news.com right under Care Force. We've got a link there. And as I mentioned, we're happy to report our Fox 13 food and toy drive for Metro Ministries on Friday was a huge success. Thanks to our many, 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 many generous viewers. Many of them stopped by on Friday, last Friday, to drop off food and toys. And we filled not one truck, not two trucks, but we filled, because of you guys, a little bit of help from Santa. Three full trucks. Folks gave more than $10,000, $13,000 of food, 4,500 toys. How about that? So again, our hats off to our Fox 13 viewers. You guys always come through big yeah, they do. You did they, this yeah, it's true. They actually do. You're right about that, Mark. And I have to say, those employees seem like they were enjoying that pipe <laughs> and maybe a little you know, there's still time if we want to clear out Studio B. I know, I was it. thinking, but yeah. I'm not sure if our bosses will go for it. <laughs> Take the mark. Yeah.